even when I'm eating, I may lose the energy to continue eating halfway through sure. me. This is already quite really? serious. Yes. Uh, it, it is serious, but because um, I think it depends on different situations. I think the last one, you know, you feel tired when you're even eating. It's most, in most cases, it's because the food is not that good. That's what I'm saying. For different symptoms, actually, there are different reasons behind it. So maybe you wish it, well, to start with, look at some reasons why people are feeling tired. To start with, we get to see that some people are feeling quite tired because their job requires them to have a lot of, you know, mental brain activities. For example, if you are a programmer, you're a new programmer in a new company, and you're dealing with all of these codes that you're not that familiar with, and this high intensity um, debugging. <laughs> oh, debugging, well, for sure. Well, programming would definitely make you feel tired. Same goes with physical situations for those who are, for example, delivering food, or delivering the parcels that we got online. They would have to, it's kind of like they're, the city is their huge workout gym, and they work out eight or even longer than that, hours a day, and that would lead to fatigue. And apparently, this hyperconnectivity is blurring the line between work and rest is another very important factor. Yeah, yeah, always being connected to the internet, things like social media, sure, that plays a part. Yeah, you know, I think the widespread use of all of these kinds of social media makes it difficult for a lot of people to fully relax, I would say, outside of their, their work. That they need to keep an eye on maybe messages in work related groups at all, all, at all times. And in fact, many jobs now require you to be on standby 24 7. And for some people, maybe you know, taking a quick five minutes to handle work during their you know, relaxing time seems fine. But for others, it, it can lead to some very significant stress. Yeah, I think stress is uh, stress and fatigue. The reason I ask you to kind of define or try to define where that tiredness was coming from is because, because I think it's related to an emotional exhaustion combined with physical exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Physical exhaustion of having to wake up early in the morning and having to get to the office or get to school and spend many hours there and then maybe some overtime work as well. Um, there's a website called Alive.com, A-L-Y-B-E, if you want to look that up. Um, they interviewed or they surveyed Gen Zs and they found that 65% slept less than seven hours per day. So that means that Gen Z, generally speaking, is not getting enough sleep. That's one aspect of it. But the other aspect of it, that's the physical fatigue. But then they say emotional fatigue where they're constantly connected to the internet, like we mentioned, but they're constantly scrolling through negative feeds, where you're seeing things like military conflict, you're seeing things like natural disasters, there's a terrible hurricane happening in America right now. That's all in the news feeds. And I'm not a professional psychologist or anything like that, but I assume that seeing those things on a daily basis combined with your physical fatigue of not sleeping enough, we learned that from the just a moment ago, put all of that together, and I think that's where we're getting this burnout, this emotional and physical exhaustion from.